Option two is gonna be a little bit more tech heavy if that's something that you're interested in. So maybe you're interested in podcasting or maybe you're taking intro to video production and you're comfortable doing some things like on your phone or on your desktop or laptop. Um, this option is for folk who are comfortable. Um, I can obviously do some tech support, but since I can't physically be there to troubleshoot things with you, um, I would suggest that if you are less comfortable with technology, not taking this option just because it's hard to kind of do remote tech support. But a lot of us are going to be working in multiple media. So a lot of times you're going to be delivering the same content in different forms. So this option allows you to kind of take advantage of some skills you might already have and kind of maybe experiment and play with making a little podcast to go along with something or a video that goes along with an article. Um, it will be an article. I would like you to do an article that has been worked on this semester. So it's something that's topical and that's relevant and timely. Um, but you will need to do some more original reporting. So I don't want you to think that you're just going to be able to like narrate what was already done. So the objectives for here is to think about how best to use different medium to deliver the same message or deliver similar message and to work on our verbal and visual communication skills. What you're doing or how you want to think about this is providing readers with more original content. You can get some inspiration by looking at how news sites do this, places like New York Times, Washington Post, uh, BBC News, The Guardian, um, like larger uh, publications that have access to more resources often do this and so you can get some ideas there. So how do you build on what you or your fellow students already mo wrote? And again, this can be a story you've worked on. It could be a story that someone else in your beat or someone on another beat worked on. So is there another angle that could be covered? So think about recording phone calls or video chats. Um, and if you do want to uh, utilize imagery. Remember, think about royalty-free sources, things that are available for non-commercial use. For an example, there was a piece that was written about some new music. So maybe for your piece, you want to get some people together and to uh, discuss in a group via th something like Zoom or um, some kind of other messaging format. Um, kind of what different people thought about the same album and you get some people to like give their feedback on it. So what's another interesting way to approach a story? Um, you can also check out chapter 12 in your book. I've highlighted some pages for some ideas and especially the introduction kind of talks about how approaching something from an audio visual angle is different from approaching it in text. Overall, your task and requirement is to create a one to five minute video. So if you are going to say get people together to talk about a specific album, you want to make sure that maybe you've got four people and so you want to limit everybody to one minute each where they kind of give their review and then you can then kind of add an intro and a wrap up at the beginning and end. So your one to five minutes of either audio or video is going to accompany an article that was published on the Yellow Jacket website this semester. So we've got kind of uh, two editions worth of material. It doesn't need to be an article you previously worked on, but it does have to be one that either has been posted or is scheduled to post. Um, that way it's definitely something that's published that we know that um, the original article is up or will be up and so your piece will go up um, and that it's something that the original article met all the requirements that were needed. Your voice does have to be present in this recording on some way or some level. And at least one other person's voice must also be present. Um, all images and sounds that are not created for, by you must be royalty free and properly credited. Um, and I can give you a list of royalty free audio and video sites. Um, and that way, if you want to use music or anything like that, I've got a whole list of resources that you can use. Uh, this assignment is graded on both content and execution. So, you know, make sure that we can hear people, make sure we can see people if you are videoing, you know, um, someone in your home. Again, please do not go out and get into contact with other people you are not already in physical contact with. Uh, I put a few notes in terms of tech for this one, um, like what I'm looking for. All of this can totally be done on a smartphone with free software. Um, but if you are uncomfortable, then, you know, please don't feel like you have to do this.